over a river, you need a bridge. That's quite an order. But you know for certain the bridge will be there, doing its job, its cable strong. It goes without saying the engine has power and speed. You depend on the delicate instrument, sure of its reading. You can count on the cameras recording the picture. Never think twice of it. Never think twice about bridges and buildings. Everyday sights, take them for granted. Like the lighter. Like the child's toy. Like thousands of other children's toys. It takes a lot of work to make so many children's toys. It takes a lot of work to build bridges and buildings. A man can't do it alone. But he can do it if he works with other men. If he works with 5,000 other men under one roof, he can make these things, and more, much more. Think nothing of it. People accomplish a lot that way. You can make toothbrushes and tractors and tachometers. You can make refrigerators and incinerators, old models and new models. You can make engines and gadgets and bridges and buildings, as long as you coordinate the work of different people. But if people are going to work together, they have to understand each other. They have to go about things the same way. The man who does precision work on part of a complex machine has never seen the designer, never talked to him. Yet he cuts this edge so that it's accurate to a thousandth of an inch. When he does it, he can't ask questions. There's no one to ask, no time to ask. Everyone's busy. This is no time to be asking questions. The machine was designed from start to finish by an engineer. But he works on the top floor of the building, and besides, he's in conference. If you don't understand, it's too bad, but you can't ask him. But the man at the machine doesn't need to ask because he knows. It is written on a sheet of paper in a language both the engineer and the operator understand. What each man does in each corner of this big factory is drawn and lettered on a sheet of paper. The gear will mesh. The engine won't fail. In the blueprint, it says so. Guaranteed. No guesswork. Nothing but the absolute truth of two plus two equals four. Here is the sum total, a small square field where genius speaks a cold, clear language. At first, the idea is nothing, a glimpse, a thought. To capture it, to create the machine, you need a language in which you can start with nothing and work out a plan. You need a language that is accurate and clear. You need a language in which people can work together, coordinating their knowledge and skills and ideas to work out the plan. You need a language in which you can prove the plan will work. What type of bearings are you going to use? Radial thrust bearing. Mm, looks all right to me. What do you think? When can we have the production prints? Draw them up quickly. Draw each line and each angle carefully and quickly. Make 
them clear and precise. Ink them. And check them quickly. The machines are waiting. All over the factory. Waiting to finish the parts. Waiting to pour the steel. Beside the machines are men waiting for the production prints. Turn out the blueprints. They are the nerves from the speech center. Start the wheels moving. The drawing speaks over and over, telling the pattern maker how to shape his patterns. The pattern telling the foundry how to mold their castings. How to mold the liquid steel to the needed shape. The drawing tells the machine shop how to finish each part. The drawing is the nerve cord holding the hand steady, putting the muscle to work turning the exactness of a trained eye, a sure touch, into finished metal parts. The drawing tells finally how the parts should be put together into one whole. The drawing has given its life to the machine. Eyes in the camera, guts in the engine, lift to the wing. Now it is lifeless. Fold it up. Roll it up. Put it away. Take it for granted. The flame is ready. The bridge stands over the river. The wing soars.